Greetings, I'm Charles. I'm 55 years old. I'm 6'1 when I'm fully assembled and weigh about 230 pounds. Today I'm going to talk about taking off this uh, above the knee prosthetic leg. Uh, what I have is a C4 prosthetic leg that refers to this bottom portion, kind of the, the knee and below portion. And then the above portion I have is a uh, strap system and the shell of this is a carbon fiber deal. Now this is my trainer leg and it's really big and huge still. But one of the things I discovered putting on and taking off this thing is kind of, is a, is kind of uh, takes a touch. And uh, getting it off with socks is a little bit different than when I very first time I put it on I did not have any spacer socks. You know, my stump has uh, shrunk down a little bit since I got this shell, so now I have to put uh, several socks underneath it to kind of fill in the space so my, uh, what's left of my leg does not move around and become painful within, within this shell as I move around uh, as I'm walking and things. So, I'm just going to show how I take this thing off and uh, the process and why. Now, what I have uh, determined, as I said, this is a strap system, so I'll go ahead and undo this strap and pull it out from the securing loops there. And uh, one thing I discovered, even with the socks and stuff on, I get a better start of taking this off if I just reach down up under here and pull this up because it'll loosen the bottom part that's um, a little bit harder for me to reach, and it just pulls the whole thing down just a little bit. So I'll do that and then I'll start to pull this leg off just about four or five inches or something like that. And then I take these socks that I have uh, doubled over the top of the of the shell. I was uh, told early on and it made a lot of sense and it seems to have worked out for me that if this is doubled up over, if this is folded up over the shell, it keeps the socks in place, keeps them from getting sucked down into the prosthetic leg and causing wrinkles and things of that nature. Plus there's extra padding because of the socks around this edge so it uh, is, makes that more comfortable. Okay, so I've pulled this leg about uh, four or five inches off at this point. I want to pull these liners off and then pull this leg off separately. Okay, I'm going to set that out of the way. And then once I've done that, I take the strap, which is uh, what secures the leg on the, to what leg I have left, and I re-stick it back on itself. And then at that point, I will peel this, these socks off. And the reason I'll do that, instead of pulling it all off together, is because this Velcro sticks to this fabric. And there's some little slots down in the bottom, of course, that that went through. And uh, the Velcro will tear, you know, will catch on the socks and it'll, you know, tear it up. So uh, not only does it tear it up, it makes it, I figured it's going to make it last a lot longer if it's not pulling on the Velcro when I'm throwing it in the washing machine and stuff. That, you know, it'll keep them from getting frayed and, and useless. I'll be able to use these socks a lot longer without having to replace them than I would have otherwise. Okay, hopefully that is a useful tip for you for getting off the above the knee prosthetic leg. Good luck.